Being able to stop your robot reliably is probably a skill you'll want to master sooner rather than later. Let's take a look at how to make our robot stop using Python. So I'm here in Robot Mesh Studio and I'm going to write a simple Python program that's going to do nothing more than make my right motor spin. So let's type motor right dot spin and we're going to make the right motor spin forward. So we're going to go vex dot direction type dot forward and let's make it spin at 100% of its uh, power. So let's go vex dot velocity units dot PCT for percentage power and we'll do this for 10 seconds. Let's run our program and see what happens. There are three ways we can stop a motor. In the previous example, when we ran our program, we saw that the right motor spun for 10 seconds and then lost power. This is what we call coasting, where the motor loses power and then gradually loses momentum until it comes to a standstill. Now, if we do not specify how we want our motor to stop, it is the default action. Now we could go a step further. If we wanted to come to an abrupt stop, we could choose to brake. And using the analogy of driving a car, we can think of coasting as simply taking the foot off of the pedal, whereas if we jammed our foot on the brake, the car we are driving would come to an immediate stop. Our third option is to hold the motor in position. This command is similar to braking, but goes a step further uh, to lock the motor in place. That is, if we are using the hold command and we try and turn the wheel that is attached, the motor will try to hold the position. Let's take a look at some examples to see how these various commands work. Let's add a couple of extra lines to this program to see what happens when our motor stops using the coast command. So here I'm going to add an additional line and I'm going to type motor right dot stop and then in opening parenthesis here I'm going to have to specify the brake type. So let's type vex dot brake type. And again, if I wasn't sure of this command, I could leaf through the IntelliSense here to find it. And then dot again. And here I have my three choices, brake, coast, and hold. Let's choose coast. And let's make the motor coast um, for a couple of seconds here, just so we can see what happens. So sys dot sleep. And let's run my program and see what happens. As you can see, that is the default action, so it was very hard to notice any discernible difference. But what happens if I come back here and I change this brake type from coast to brake? Let's run this program again and note the difference. So this is us running now using the brake command to stop the motor. And what you're going to see here in a second is that the motor abruptly stops and then it releases its position, right? So it stops and then you can see I can still turn the wheel and we hear this grinding noise. Finally, let's change this uh, break type or stop type rather to hold and see what happens. So this is the same command. The motor's going to spin, but this time we're going to try and hold the position for a couple of seconds afterwards. Take a look at the difference. Motor comes to an abrupt stop and then, man, is that ever tight? I cannot turn that. You can see how it's trying to fight me as I try and spin this wheel. So in a couple of seconds, uh, this is going to release. We're going to hear the motor pop. And I'll be able to spin the wheel freely. And you can see what a contrast that is from the hold position. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please consider sharing the love, pressing that like button, and subscribing to this channel for regular updates on Robot Mesh Studio and Vex Robotics.